Okay, welcome to the sound mill automator demo. And what we're going to do in this demo is show you how to automate the playing of, of sound. So I've loaded a sound list here that has some automation scripts already created with it. And the scenario we want to create is um, playing a set of five sounds in sequence. Uh, crashing glass, a clap of thunder, a gunshot, a female scream, and a shotgun firing. So if I click the automator icon here, that will bring the automator uh, automation tool to the front. And you can see I've got four scripts, automation scripts already created here, and we'll look at these in, in order. Um, okay, first we'll look at the simple case of playing these sounds in sequence. And um, in our terminology, each, each script is made up of steps, command steps. And you can see in this case, we've got uh, five uh, steps. And each one of these will, will play a sound um, in sequence. And when you play in sequence, the, the next sound in order will wait for the, the previous one to finish playing. So, if I click on this, you can see it's going through the script, playing each, each item, and one of the problems with this particular approach is that if you've got if you've got silence or, or uh, spaces between the, the, the sound items, it, the timing doesn't come out that well. So in a minute, I'll show you how to, uh, to fix that problem. First, let me show you how to create a script. So I'll actually show you how this one was created. If I click on this new script icon, it puts a, a new script into the, the script list. And if I click on the edit icon, uh, we basically got an empty uh, script to fill here. So first thing you want to do is add sounds, sound steps to your, your script. So if I click on the add play sound icon, it brings up a list of all the sound items in your list. And you can select individual ones or uh, using the shift key, you can select all of those. So we'll do that in this case and you can see it's added a play step now for each one of our sound items and basically that's how the uh, how the script was created um, you can give it a name and you could also put a description in here if you want to describe what the the uh, automation is doing and when it should be played or whatever Now you can also put uh, delays into the script. So let's add a, a time delay. You can see it added a delay for one second. And now if you, if you want to move that delay to a different location in the script, you just click the edit, edit steps button. And if I select the delay and use these green arrow keys, I can move that into any position I want in this sequential script. In fact, you can move any of these sounds around. Um, and we'll get, in a minute, we'll talk about how you edit timing on some of these. So that's essentially how you create a script and, and edit the, the contents. Now let's look at how we time some of these um, sound items. Um, when you use the offset timing, the, the step will execute uh, at an interval after the script starts. So in this case, um, if we look at step two here, uh, playing the thunderclap, uh, we've got an offset of two seconds, which means once you start the script, it'll wait two seconds and then that sound will fire and we've set offsets for 
for these other ones. The, the glass crashing uh, sound doesn't have an offset, so that will, that will start immediately when the script executes. Now let me uh, bring up the editor on this script. And you can see um, basically all of these have, have offsets. Let me show you how to set the offset. If you bring up the edit steps, um, we'll look at the uh, thunderclap one. If I edit that, it brings up the edit step dialog. And you can see I've enabled the offset time and it's been set for two seconds. And um, we'll talk about this schedule in another demo. Uh, you can also override the, the output group for any step. So if in the sound list it's the output group is set for zero and I want to actually play it on the output output one, I can change that and then click the override and then that that will uh, change where the sound is played. Okay, so let me just play this and you can see what the difference is now. So hopefully it's obvious that you know, by offset timing uh, we've got a much tighter uh, and more precise scenario that's that's played out. Now the other thing you can do with the automator is to uh, execute other scripts so one script can execute another. Now if we look at this uh, shots fired uh, script it basically is made up of a gunshot, a shotgun firing, and then the female scream at two seconds into the script. Now we can run that from another script and I've got a script that does that. Um, if you look at this script here you can see that it's got two run script steps in it and it's going to run the shots fired script at offsets of four seconds and an offset of seven seconds. And Let me just run that and you can see what it sounds like. So you can see that um, by just simply adding a, uh, a step that will run another script, um, you can rapidly change the, the uh, sounds and, and organization of a script. And it's much more powerful in that you can create modular uh, scripts to reuse in various situations. Now the one of the other more powerful features of that is that there's there's really no limit to the nesting level that um, you can you can do here. Uh, for instance, script A can run script B. And script B can run script C and on and on. So you can see that you can really become uh, or create a, a very modular um, approach to your sounds. Okay, and finally, let me show you how you add these run script commands. Um, we'll go back and edit the uh, that script that I created. Um, and you can see it's got. Uh, these play steps with the delay. So let's add a run script command with this button here. That brings up a list of the all the scripts in your list and um, you can click we'll, we'll add this shots fired and you can see that that added a run script command to the bottom and then you can go back to the, the edit steps button uh, to rearrange the location of, of where, when you want to run that in the script. And then also notice that you can change the number of times a script will repeat. So if I change this to three, the repeat uh, number, when we play the script, it will go through the sequence. And when it reaches the end, it'll start over. And the script itself will repeat three times in this case. Um, 
and you could actually put this the script into an endless loop if you set this to a, a very high number um, let's say you set it to a thousand um, the script will play a thousand times before it finishes so uh, based on what's in the script itself uh, you could set it up so that it's repeating uh, over a, a 24 hour cycle and uh, that concludes the the simple automation demo um, be sure to check out some of the other automator demos that we've created to show some of the other features like the scheduler so thank you and uh, we hope you join the the user forum to uh, share tips with other users and um, learn f learn from uh, their comments thank you